Okay, now for question number four from the sample assessment paper of Pure Maths 2, uh, International A Level. And here we have one of the new um, parts of the syllabus where we have to do proofs. Okay, so this is something which many students are kind of uh, apprehensive about and because it's something that they haven't really experienced before and, and you don't find many past paper questions on them but it's not not really anything to be too worried about it's pretty simple stuff okay so no need to to get panicked or worried now given that n is an element of the natural numbers meaning positive integers so starting from one two three four and so on the whole numbers which are always positive zero not included Prove by exhaustion that n squared plus 2 is not divisible by 4. Okay, what does it mean by prove by exhaustion? Well, it means exhaust all the possible um, scenarios such that, you know, you realize that there's no way that this, um, you know, uh, that this will be divisible by 4. So there's two ways of doing it. One of them is kind of like, like a numerical way. So you say, let's try different values of n. So I'll give you that way first, and then I actually for this I prefer the algebraic method, but I'll show you the numerical one. Like when n equals one, you have um, you're going to have n squared plus two is going to be one squared plus two, which is one plus two, which is three. So when is when n is one, you got n squared plus two is equal to three. When n is equal to two you got n squared plus 2. Now, in fact, what would be better for me to do is to save myself writing, is to make a table. So you got n, and you got n squared plus 2. So when n is 1, you're going to have 1 squared plus 2, which is 3. When n is 2, you're going to have 4 squared plus 2. Um, sorry, 2 squared, 4 plus 2, which is 6. When n is 3, you're going to have 3 squared, which is 9, plus 2, which is 11. When n is 4, you're going to have 16 plus 2, which is 18. When n is 5, you're going to have um, n squared plus 2. So you're going to have 5 squared, which is 25, plus 2, which is 27. Okay, so I'm just going to write down the steps. So this is like 1 plus 2. This is like 4 plus 2. This is like 9 plus 2. It's like 16 plus 2. 25 plus 2 when n is equal to 6 you're going to have 36 plus 2 which is 38 okay when n equals 7 you're going to have 49 plus 2 which is 51 when n equals 8 you're going to have 8 squared which is 64 plus 2 which is 66 okay, i'm going to stop there because we should have realized something when basically when n is odd one, three, five, seven, you always get an odd number as your answer. So when n is odd, when n is odd, n squared plus two is also odd. Okay, so therefore not divisible by 4. An odd number can never be divisible by 4. Okay? Even 9. If you do 9, you're going to have 81 plus 2, which is 83. Okay? So, you're always going to get an odd number when you um, have start with an odd number. Okay? 81 plus 2 is 83, sorry, did I say? Okay. So, you see, you're going to always get an odd number when you are squaring an odd number and adding two okay all right um so that's one statement and it should be neater than this by the way let's see what happens when n is even when n is even you can see every time you get a number which is even but it's not divisible by four why because if you look at the even numbers when you square the number, like 2 squared gives you 4, that's divisible by 4, but you add 2, that's not going to be divisible by 4. 4 squared is 16, that's divisible by 4. You add 2, it's not divisible by 4. 6 squared is 36, divisible by 4, add 2, not divisible by 4. 8 squared is 64 plus 2, 
64 is divisible, is divisible by 4, but plus 2 is not. Okay, 64 plus 2 is not. So basically, every time you, when n is even, okay, so when n is even, is even, sorry about my writing, then n squared is divisible by 4. Is divisible by 4. Therefore, n squared plus 2 cannot be divisible by 4. Divisible by 4 when n is even. Okay, so we've taken the case when n is odd and also when n is even. Okay, so we can then make a final statement. Therefore, in all cases, in all cases, okay, we can say that n squared plus 2 isn't divisible by 4, isn't divisible by 4. Sorry, my handwriting's got really bad, this pen is lagging here. Isn't divisible by 4. Come on, pen. Okay, so as long as the examiner can read the writing, you'll be all right. Okay, so that's basically a proof by using like using different values. You've kind of shown, you know, if, um, by exhausting these values that when n is odd, it's always going to be an odd number. As your answer when n is even, it's always going to be a number that's not divisible by uh, 4. It's always going to be 2 more than what's divisible by 4. Okay, you could have shown that algebraically as well. Okay, so we can say that, for example, this is algebraic proof. Okay, so algebraic proof is as follows. Okay, so you're going to say that, for example, um, you have n squared plus 2. Okay, if we say let n equals k, where k is an element of the integers, or the natural numbers we could say, okay, um, n equals 2k, sorry, where k is an element of the natural numbers, okay, therefore, n is even. Okay, when n equals k, 2k, n will be even. Because, for example, whatever value k is, you're going to have to multiply it by 2. So if k is 1, you're going to get 2. k is 2, you're going to get 4. k is 3, you're going to get 6. So for every value of k, n will be even. Okay, so let's put that into there. We're going to have 2k squared. Look, I'll do it properly. I'll say that now n squared plus 2, sorry about this, so we can say here that n squared plus 2, n squared plus 2 will be, instead of n, n is equal to 2k, it will be 2k squared plus 2, which is equal to 4k squared plus 2. So when you have 4 times something, that's a multiple of 4. Okay, so this will always be a multiple of 4. Okay, so this part of this will be a multiple of 4. Multiple of 4. Okay. That means, if we add 2 to it, then the whole of this thing, the whole of this thing, okay, is not a multiple of 4. This is 2 more than a multiple of 4. 2 more than multiple of 4 cannot be a multiple of 4. Okay, so this is not a multiple of 4. The whole of that. Okay.
not a multiple of 4. All right, so now let's look at the case where n is odd. Okay, so if we say let n equals 2k plus 1, let n be 2k plus 1, okay, therefore n is odd, right? Because if you, whatever is like, for example, k, and again, we say k is an element is an element of the natural numbers. Okay, so whatever value you put in for k, uh, this is going to become even, and you add one to it, it's going to become an odd. Odd number is one more than an even number. So we can say n squared plus one in this case, or n squared plus two, sorry, in this case, is going to be two k plus one squared plus two, which when you expand that, you're going to get four k squared plus, you're going to have 2 times 2k plus 1, which is 4k plus 1 plus 2, which is going to be, if I take 4 as common in these two, I'll have 4 times, in brackets, k squared plus k, okay, plus 3. So we can see that this part, this part is definitely a multiple of 4. Okay, because you've got four times something. So this is a multiple of four. But if you add three to it, okay, then the whole thing, okay, is not a multiple of four. So this isn't a multiple of four. Multiple of four. Sorry about this. Okay, you understand why? Because four times an integer, this will be an integer because k is an integer, so integer squared plus an integer will give an integer. Four times any integer will be a multiple of four, but if you add three to it, well, that can't be a multiple of four because the next multiple of four is always going to be four away, not three away. So the whole of this term cannot be a multiple of four. So now we've shown that, um, therefore, in all cases, in all cases, so we've proved by exhaustion here because we've sh you've shown all the different cases when n is even, when n is odd, and we've done this algebraically here, okay? So in all cases, n squared plus 2, you should always write your final statement, isn't a multiple of 4. Or four, probably even better to say for n being an element of the natural numbers. Okay, when n is an element of the natural numbers, in all cases, n squared plus two isn't a multiple of four, isn't a multiple of four. Okay, so there we have the answer to that question.